Hello and welcome to a very windy, very stormy North of the land here. Today I'm going to start talking about planning and how you can plan your photography trip and even with some great planning how sometimes things don't work out exactly as you planned. There are a number of applications that you can get for your mobile device that kind of helps your planning. The obvious ones are things like the weather. So I can see today it's extremely windy with a mixture of sunshine and clouds. There's also kind of ones where you can plan your route and where you're going such as Google Maps. So today I'm planning to go to Northumberlandia. So I will park there and walk over to there and then I plan to take uh, some photographs of this earth sculpture. Now what I really want to do is to get some nice long exposure. So I know today is a mixture of sunshine and cloud. It's meant to be extremely windy because we've got Storm Kira in the UK. So if I can get the clouds blowing from kind of west to east with the uh, long exposure with a 10 stop filter that should create some dramatic images. There are kind of other applications that you can use to further refine that. So if I go into something called photo pills, I can see with my Canon EOS R with a 17mm lens, and if I'm positioned uh, in that position there, I can see that I will get the full image of the lady in there, and also then um, you can kind of move through the time so you can see the sun kind of gradually is moving and will set uh, about five o'clock just right behind the head and then you'll move into the blue hour and so forth so that's a great tool to kind of check exactly where the sun's going to be in relation to your position uh, and it's very useful for kind of doing your kind of testing and you can change the dates so you can use future dates so you can plan a kind of ahead for your trip you can also kind of plot the moon and various other things i really recommend that app called photo pills um, but as we'll see from this kind of video even if you do do all your planning, sometimes it doesn't quite go according to plan. Okay, so the theory today is that um, we have a storm in the UK, so I was going to big clouds like this one, a couple of them in the sky, and I thought, nice, good location. And a windy spot would be of the Melandia, which is a old sculpture. It's not quite worked out a plan. There are very many clouds in the sky, and although it's windy, it's not that windy. Um, right now, we're from the sunset, so we will see what happens. Um, that's looking interesting. So the first shot lined up is just a simple shot of long exposure. Um, the sun's kind of setting just to the west there. Although I don't think I'm going to get much of a sunset, but you never know. Um, so we'll just see how this image takes. Uh, not much in terms of composition, it's just straight focus on the sculpture in front and kind of waiting and hoping for some clouds to appear. Okay, let's try something here. Let's see if we can get these reeds in the foreground, of which there's some nice groups, and then the lovely contours of light over there. So if we focus on this one here, and we set it at about f16 that should give us good front to back sharpness and then we'll get that lovely light on the hills maybe okay so the composition behind me is a portrait composition 
with the reeds as the foreground interest and the kind of hill and the dry stone wall on the top of it in the background with nice sideways light and contrast. So settings for this, uh, f16, uh, focusing like I said on the reeds, just underexposing just to compensate the brightness in the sky. I'm getting excited because there's actually a cloud appeared so I better go and take the photograph before that disappears. I don't know if you can make out, but it's actually a sculpture of a woman. Um, there's the face and the nose and yeah, it's quite obvious what those are. While I wait for the sun to set, I may as well take a few more images. Obviously they're all very similar uh, with the reeds in the foreground and the, ob the obvious picture in the background. So typically, uh, just as the sun's starting to lower in the sky, there's a great big bank of cloud across the horizon. And I suspect the sun's going to go behind there and that will be the light for today, which is typical. So this shot here is trying to get the this kind of fist with a finger against the sky. Just time for a quick time lapse with the wind blowing the clouds towards me and you know you don't always get the sunset but you've got to make the best of what light you can get and still quite a nice night although the sun's pretty much set now so anyway interesting day Some you lose some. There's always another day. It's good to know that I've got a nice little location to come back to uh, when the light's better. Uh, but as it is, looks like it's fading fast. So unless things magically change, I'll call it an end today and say thanks for watching and please subscribe. Till next time, bye.